welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in so everything was going well until we saw some readjustment in the market after hawkish fed comment 50 basis point hike could be imaginable now and beside that guys they are also running down their balance sheet by 95 billion a month starting next month so that's why this has definitely wobbled the market including the crypto market also the traditional market did saw some sort of a weakness and now if you look at the price action of bitcoin since we are hovering around this 43,000 area what to expect next because if you are aware yesterday we talked about this symmetrical triangle scenario according to the symmetrical triangle when we were doing the video the price was holding its ground around this 45,000 range and all of a sudden we had this news right and also the price breaking out of the support line clearly indicated the weakness and also price started breaking here to the downward duration and it also you can see came across this 43,000 and quickly also dipping around this 42,700 area so now what to expect next is the pullback over and now we could be slowly seeing more of a consolidation and price again trying to move here to the upper duration because this pullback what we witnessed actually came across this very important line of support and now what i personally also believe is the price of bitcoin could be again showing some sort of a movement here to the upper duration trying to regain its strength again towards this 44 45000 range why because if you look at this price structure right now in a bit different way not just only this very scenario right this symmetrical triangle breakout scenario played out here but also if you look at this price movement as dead get bounce scenario let me show you that here now let me show you why this price pullback after reaching around this 40 to 43 000 range could have bottom guys because if you look at this one bearish scenario you can see the price has already broken out of the support line also saw this retracement and now if i would add another bearish scenario which is actually known as did get bounce and according to this dead get bounce as you can see price after swing this pullback usually sees a retracement a retracement around 0.5 to 0.618 in traditional market it's 0.5 but since crypto is volatile we always look at this 0.618 as well and you can see guys when the price of bitcoin saw this relief rally it approached around this 0 0.5 0 0.618 line never got a proper support above it you can see here right and after that we continue this downward rally so according to the dead cat bounce we are already around this 0.4 area right so now if we are going to see some more consolidation right we are absolutely fine with that and price could be again starting this new move in here to the upper duration so that's why guys i personally open a long position at 43,000 because i strongly believe that around this area maybe the market could be finding some support now let me show you why this actually could make a lot of sense i mean this relief rally after price retesting around this 42 43,000 area and now before i switch into other chart i just want to make you guys aware that we have up to eight thousand seven hundred dollar crypto exchange bonus available for you the only thing you have to do is to sign up using my ref link and after your initial deposit you will be eligible to claim this four thousand six hundred dollar bonus so if you are an experienced trader if you want to take advantage of this market volatility the link is provided in the description down below so feel free to check it out now let's switch the chart now with the help of this cpi indicator a leading indicator i want to show you why the price after reaching around this 42 43 000 might have found some strong support because if you look at the cpi line each and every cpi line was so important top cpi line central cpi line and bottom cpi line because we knew when the price of bitcoin was showing this retracement right around this top cpi line we were holding the line also after that we saw this really nice bounce but after failing to find support at this top of the cpi line you can see we also got gravitated around the central cpi line found support could not last longer and again got gravitated towards the bottom cpi line so what do i want to show you with this example according to the cpi line the price right now since it's at the bottom cpi line this is one of the strongest line of support that we had also around this 42,600, 42,700 area. So that's why after reaching around that area, we are seeing this small relief rally type of formation. So now this central line, which is lying around 43,600, is also going to be a line of resistance, right? And as soon as we break out of it, we could be again approaching around this 
44,500 to 45,000 area and I am going to scale up my position once we break out of this 44,500 area and beside this guys beside this if we look at this one here when the trend was preparing itself for a new movement once we right once we reached the monthly air one line you can see after that we did saw this retracement and only after that started this new impulsive movement here as well we got rejection from this monthly r1 line got a pullback only after that started this new impulsive movement and you can see this similar scenario has unfolded again and again i mean price after reaching the monthly r1 line after that has shown a bigger retracement you can see right this scenario has unfolded again and again price retesting lower line before starting this new impulsive movement here as well came at the top monthly r1 line and after that bigger pullback before starting this new impulsive movement so in our case it's also very similar guys the price of bitcoin right now if you look at this carefully has tested the lower line support but before we actually tested the lower line support we tested the monthly r1 line for this march month so that's why if this is also a very similar scenario what played out in past bitcoin price action then you can see we could be finding a very strong support between the cpi line and again price trying to break it to the upper direction and now let me show you with another example why this 42 43 000 area could be a very very strong support area and also the area where the price of bitcoin might have found bottom here in the immediate short term so now let's look at this price action of Bitcoin using these moving averages because according to the moving averages right now, even though we are aware, the indicators here, MACD, RSI, T3CC are already turned bearish, but still you can see the price of Bitcoin is holding its ground around this 50 exponential moving average. So now this 50 exponential moving average, which is around 43,000, is also acting as one of the strongest line of support along with this CPI indicator. So that's why, guys, that's why I strongly believe that the price of Bitcoin after reaching around this 42, 43,000 might have bottom and we could be showing some sort of a consolidation and price again breaking here to the upper direction. So for the immediate short term, we want this resistance the top cpi line which is around 44,500 44,600 broken and flipped into support because if you do that then this train again could show another movement where we get gravitated towards the monthly air one line but if the price right fails to hold this 42,000 support line according to the cpi indicator since it's a leading indicator it gives us information beforehand so according to this indicator if 42,000 support is going to get broken this is where we could be getting gravitated this s1 line which is lying around 39,000 price area so let's hope that the price of bitcoin remain inside this cpi line and not just only this one here guys if you also look at the price action of bitcoin here in a weekly time frame even in a weekly we could see that 42 43,000 is a very strong line of support for bitcoin now let's look at this price action of bitcoin in a weekly time frame because in a weekly the price of bitcoin from this double bottom type of formation and according to this double bottom if you look at this closely you can see guys the price right now is retesting the neckline area which was previously acting as a resistance so that's why right now if you look at this one here resistance resistance again and again you can see right this line was a very important line of resistance but now we are again around that area 42 43 000, and the same line also held the price you can see guys now through the weekly the previous neckline area or the previous temporary race line around this 43 42 000, from this 50 weekly moving average and also from this cpi indicator now around this 42 43 000, the price of bitcoin might have bottomed and this also looks like more of a retest before price trying to break here to the upper duration so let's hope that the price of bitcoin does not breaks below this 42 000 range at any cost because breaking below this lower line area right this bottom cpi line will clearly indicate a sign of weakness where we could be getting gravitated towards the monthly s1 line which is lying around 39,000 area so these are some of the interesting scenarios that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work then please hit the like button and also for those individuals watching for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anub bye bye